Coco, and I am here with another video. I asked on my Facebook any questions that I think I have a Facebook friend that would want to know about me. So here I am with a Get to Know Me card, and I hope you guys like it. Excuse the background, I have Tiffany and my girl Tay going because they are sleeping right now. It's like midnight, and I'm finally going to need to record this video. So without further ado, let's get right into it okay so the first question that i was asked is how old am i and i am 25 years old i know some would find it hard to believe without makeup on that i'm 25 but yep i was born october 25th 1991. next question is am i in a relationship if so how long I am currently married and forever married and we will be celebrating our two year anniversary coming this June. Next question is do I have children if so how many and yes I have children I have two little girls and they are my world they are six days apart so <laughs> that's that. Next question is what is my sign and do I live up to it? I'm not really into like zodiacs and things like that, but I'm a Scorpio and um I'm somewhere average as it is. <laughs> Next question is what do I like? Um I like a lot of things. I like to eat, I like to travel, I like doing my makeup, I like doing my hair. I like being a mom, but I hate love being a mom. Um, I like helping people, uh, main, mainly like special needs. I don't know what it is, but I have like a special place in my heart for special needs because I feel like they don't get as much credit as they deserve. Um, I like the color purple. That's like my favorite color, not the movie, the color. Um, I like a lot of things. I like positivity. I'm not like spiritual, but because um, I believe in God, but I'm all about vibes. I'm all about positive vibes. Um, I don't know. I like a lot of things. I'm so glad you guys are here. I like a lot of things. <laughs> Hi, guys. In this clip, I could not edit this part out. I was stumbling across some words. I could not get it together for anything in this world. So I'm just, you know, coming in here just to let you guys know why this is me. Next question is, question is, what is my inspiration in life? My aspiration in life is to be successful. And a lot of people obviously want to be successful, but I want to be successful as far as my relationship with my husband, my relationship with God, my relationship with my businesses and my commitments within my businesses, as well as pursuing my long-term relationship. I'll go into depth about that in a later video. But I want to be successful in life. Um, I want to open up my own salon. I want to expand my group home, expand my daycare, be a better mother, be a better wife. Um, I aspire to be every one of those. <laughs> Next question is where have I traveled? And I've traveled to three basic places. I've never been overseas. That's one That's one thing that is, or a couple things is on my bucket list. Dubai is one of them. But I've traveled to um, New York, Alabama, California, um, Texas, Tennessee, Alabama, um, Ohio, different places in Ohio. Uh, Washington, D.C., Virginia, well, that's on my list. Um, I've been to, you know, pretty much all of those, somewhat of all of those. There's still a couple places I haven't been to, but I like to travel. Okay, so next question, ooh, Lord. Next question is, what is the craziest thing that I've done in a relationship? And the craziest thing that I've done in a relationship is follow the person that I was involved with at the time. Um, I started to date 
phone, I started to ask her, ooh, excuse me, I started to ask him where his whereabouts were, like, I pretty much was taken completely out of character with this person, um, yeah, so, I'm like a real laid back person, I'm pretty much keep to myself, I don't do drama, I'm not the type of girl that will go through your phone, um, if you don't give me a reason to, or will, you know, like, be checking for you, or following you where you go, and things like that, but with this person, oh, I was taken out of character so much, it was embarrassing, so I vowed, I vowed, after this, after that relationship ended, to never do that again, ever, 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 and to know my worth, knowing my worth, no way <laughs> next question is what is your education background um i have a high school high school diploma as well as a double bachelor's in criminal justice and communications next question is do you have siblings and how many biological and planned <laughs> I guess everybody has a sibling that they plan, but I have one biological sister. I have um, a god brother who is in college right now, and I haven't seen in like three years, and I'm so sad. And I also have, well, I have three god brothers. Two of them are a lot older. One is married with children, the other one is in Georgia, and um, my little god brother is in college and I I have two sisters one is my best friend I, well they're both my best friends but I call them my sister so biologically I only have one sibling next question is what is your nationality honestly and truthfully I say I'm like black um I've heard you know different family members say that you know I'm all mixed up like Puerto Rican Indian and Jamaican and things of that sort I want to say that ancestry or whatever DNA testing that's out there I want to actually do that so I can know my for sure my national nationality <laughs> but I'm black so I mean Next question is, what is your sexual orientation? And I am asexual. <laughs> uh, I have a husband, so I'm asexual. And this was actually like three questions in one. Um, have you dated outside of your race before? Yes, I have. And that also did you like dating outside of your race? Yes, I've dated outside of my race. Yes, I really enjoyed dating a person that was outside of my race. Um, I'm kind of bummed out that things didn't work out, but, you know, things worked out. I never really met my husband, so that's that. So, yes, I've dated outside of my race a few times. I've dated a Latino, um, and I've dated a Caucasian guy, and I've dated a Nigerian. Well, he's not that far away, but... He was Nigerian and Jamaican, um, and I dated a Belizean, a black and Asian guy. Well, we didn't date, we just kind of hooked up, you know. <laughs> Next question is, what were you known for in high school and why? Honestly and truthfully, I have no story in my book. I honestly don't know. I would think I was known for, um being the quiet girl or the good girl that end up getting pregnant <laughs> uh, junior year in high school, but that, you know, that's probably, I don't know, honestly and truthfully, I guess cheerleading, um, per, our performing dance thing that we had, or dance singing group, uh, at school, choir, dance team, I don't, I don't know, I guess. <laughs> Do you have any regrets in life? No, I don't really look at them as regrets. I look at them as lessons learned. And my biggest lesson learned 
um, would be to notice what it notices what it is real as um, well it can happen to me but not having a child out of y'all three that has to be my biggest having a child out of y'all three has to be my biggest lesson um, I learned about myself I learned about what to look for in, in a guy and what not to tolerate <laughs> Um, so yeah, just knowing my self worth and instilling in my girls that being a queen can change my life. <laughs> Next question is how many tattoos do I have? And I have eight tattoos mainly on my back, like in places that I can cover it up. The most visible area would be like my wrist. I have two tattoos right here. Um, it's nothing like crazy or anything like that, but most of my tattoos are like on my back, on my stomach, behind my ear, like places that I can cover anything up. Next question is, who is your favorite singer slash performer and actress or actor? Um, my favorite singer is Anita Baker. Um, performer wise is the Queen Bee. And why those two? Because they're obviously two different genres. I love old school. I love old school. Oh, I love it. Um, Anita Baker is more vocally like she says to me. She just hits home for me. And I don't know if it's because um uh. I don't know. I don't know if it's because she's from where I'm from or I don't know. But I love me some Anita Baker. Um, Beyonce performance wise is because she is bomb. Like, I don't need to explain. My favorite actor, um, looks wise or talent wise, I have two. Miss Baked on Lips and that is Idris Elba and Morris Chestnut. Mm, 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 them two. Uh, my favorite actress of all time is Angela Bassett. I have to really adore her. Okay, so two more questions and then I'm done. <laughs> and this question is two questions in one. And it's, the first question is, if you could change anything about yourself, what would it be and why? Um, if I could change anything about myself currently, it would be um I don't know. I don't know because um there's nothing makeup can't fix facially. <laughs> so there's there's nothing on my face that I would that I would change like my nose I can contour the poo out of my nose um and you know fill in my eyebrows and things of that sort you know what no there is one thing and I know I'm gonna get I'm going to get all kind of backlash for it but it's just my personal personal preference I would like a different texture of hair I have 4C hair and my hair gets dry a lot not saying not because you know it's considered nappy or anything like that but my hair gets really really dry um i've tried almost everything but i think that's just because of the texture of my hair and then it doesn't make it any better that my hair is naturally like sandy brown so it looks dry when it's dry it looks dirty so that would be one thing that i if i could change it i would change it is the texture of my hair it's i'm just over it and i'm yeah i'm, I'm over it um and the next, this last question is, if you could say bye to someone famous, who would it be? If I could say bye to someone famous, who would it be? Who would it be? Okay, so if I could say bye to somebody famous, I would say bye with Erica Badu. Everything about Miss Badu is just chill, laid back, bomb.com, just like, I don't know, I just, I, I feel like if I 
truly changed the lives of somebody that much at the end of the year. As much as I love me some Queen B, I, I, I wouldn't want to trade lives with her. I, w- I really wouldn't. Mm-hmm. And it's Erica Badu. Don't kill her, please. <laughs> okay, so that is the end of this video. Thank you, everybody, on my Facebook page that asked these questions. Um, if there are any other videos that you guys would like to see, hair tutorials, makeup tutorial, nail tutorial, or you want me to do any challenges or anything like that, please leave it down below. I am trying to build more content for you guys and put videos out there a lot more frequently and quicker. I promise you I am going to try to upload twice a week. That's four months. Twice a week. Um, If you want to know my hair care regimen or anything like that, just any videos that you guys can think of that you would like to see from me, just let me know. I am wide range talented, so I want to showcase that on my channel. So I'm going to wrap this video up right here. Again, if you have any questions or any comments on what you would like to see, just leave that down below. Don't forget to hit that red subscribe button and the bell next to it so you can get notified of any videos that I post. Don't forget to like this video, comment down below, and subscribe. I want to build up my subscribers and my subbies, so make sure you share this video with everyone you know. And everybody have a nice day, night, week, or whenever you're watching this. And my girl stand is worse than ever. You're watching this. <laughs> Alright, thank you guys for watching.